over here from Kezia's Corner. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Kezia. Thank you so much for coming across my channel. I really appreciate it and I hope you get to stay. And thank you to everyone who supported my channel. I obviously wouldn't be here without you all and Kezia's Corner wouldn't be the same. Today is an exciting video and I cannot wait to jump in and start testing out the products because it's basically a new collection from Nina. So my mum and dad posted me a package which included some products um, that Mina left for me in Malta. So it came with this little cute note which says, Hi Kezi, dive into all the all new Mina Just For Fun collection. Cool pastels, pop brights, frosted finishes, the Mina team. So thank you so much to Mina Malta and to Hudson Group Malta as well for these products. I really appreciate it. I cannot wait to jump in because I have actually taken a sneak peek obviously to them and I've also seen them on the website and on the Facebook page of Mina Malta. Now come on, look at these products. Look at the boxes. The, don't the boxes just look so cute? I mean, come on. Like, so basically this is the Just For Fun collection and we're just gonna jump into the video and test out these products. You know the drill, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you wanna see more then press subscribe. And again, thank you to Mina Malta and Hudson Group. So let's go into the video. Okay, so I've already done my face. So I've done my primer, my foundation, my concealer, um, and my powder, my brows, and I also did some contouring, so yeah. Um, so this um, Just For Fun collection comes with an eyeshadow palette. Um, we have two lipsticks, one eyeliner, and one liquid highlight. I'm gonna show you all of them, don't worry. Now, let me just tell you the boxes that they come in. Each of the products are just too cute. The first thing that we're gonna try out is the Mina, um, the eyeshadow palette, and it's the shade number 105, and let me just show you. Number one, it always comes with a mirror, which I really like. The eyeshadow palettes of Mina always come with mirror, and these are the shades. Pastels, so pretty, so spring. And they kind of match my top, I hope. Like I try to like <laughs> wear a top that like matches, sort of. So we're gonna try and do a look with these colors. I'm gonna try and use all of them. I don't think I'm gonna be using this one right here, which is like a green, mint, jade, green. No, this is just the, like a jade, yeah, anyways. It comes with six different cute pastel shades. I mean, they're just so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna take my brush, my blending brush, and we're gonna start, I think, I'm going to start with this light pink, and then we'll work We'll work our way guys so I'm gonna be taking this light pink right here and a bit powdery so fluff of the axis and we're just going to bring it in the crease so very pink very frosty pink so yeah we're just gonna work with that Like I have this look in my mind and I hope it comes out the way I want it to, but oh, we'll see, we'll see. Make sure you've primed your eyes well, so that the shadow blends in nicely. Keep sometimes forgetting that. <laughs> okay, so once you're happy with that, I'm just going to take this light, but I don't know if it's like a transition from a blue to a lilac, but this blue shade right here, pastel blue, and we're just gonna do it the same, but I'm kind of gonna take it a bit lower than the pink. Okay, so we look a little bit crazy right now, but that's fine. Um, I'm gonna take a wee brush like this, and I'm going to actually dip it into the darker blue, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to put it in my inner, outer corner, sorry. Outer corner. I'm just going to do like a V. And then taking my other brush that I used before, I'm just going to blend it in. Build it up a little bit more. Okay, 
Now with a clean brush, I'm gonna actually take the pink again and just build it up. Taking the blue as well that we used before. Dark blue again, it's just basically going back and forth. So now I'm going to actually do a, um, you know, a cut crease, but just cutting my on my eyelid. You'll see, anyways. I don't know if it's called a cut crease. I don't think so. So I like always putting the concealer on the palm of my hands, and then I like taking my wincy wincy brush, and hopefully this goes well. So we'll be right back. I'm going to do it till there, so. Okay, and then I like dabbing it with my finger. I dampen it a little bit. And now what I'm gonna try and do, I wanna kind of mix these two shades together. So the green and the pink. I want them both on my eyes. So we'll see how it goes. I think I'm gonna start over here with the pink and then we go into the green. So what should I do first? Should I do the green first? Yeah, I think so. I'll try and do the, I'll try and do the pink first, let's see. Okay. I want the pink there. And the green on the other side. On the inner corner, I mean. <laughs> I've never done anything like this. <laughs> this is why I like Mina. I really, really come out of my comfort zone with Mina. Build up both of the shades now. Now what we're gonna do is, I'm just going to basically blend out everything. So I'm gonna take the light blue and I'm just gonna blend that out. Let's see how it works. Okay, I'm just going to take some more pink now that we used earlier. First color we used, building that up. So preferably when you use these shadows, I think you should do your eye makeup first and then you do your um, foundation because there's a little bit of fallout. The pink, the green is more pigmented than the pink. Having a bit of trouble with pink. So, this is the look. I'm gonna come right back. I'm just going to clean my under eyes and apply some concealer. And yeah, I'm going to also, like, with a wake up wipe, do over here a little bit more, like, precise. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I cleaned the edges and I sort of applied some concealer again underneath my eyes. So, now what we're gonna do is we're going to do our under eye and for the highlight and the inner corner don't worry something is coming I didn't forget that I'm gonna do I think the green first so we're going to pop the green on our under eyes and the inner parts and then the pink that we used on our lids and then the blue that we put on our outer corner So that is the eyeshadow palette. I personally love the eyeshadow palette. I think it's something that you should get, if, especially if you're going to a festival. Like you can do so many things with this and you can join this palette, I guess, with other shades, obviously, if you would like. But these are the best pastel shades that I've actually had used. And I kind of like the look I created with just this palette. I didn't want to integrate another palette. I just wanted to use this one to show you that, hey, you can go out of your comfort zone sometimes and create these fun looks and like spring is coming, so why not? Something else that um, is found in the Just For Fun collection is the 2-in-1 eyeliner. So I'm going to show you this eyeliner. I've never seen a pen like this. So yeah, this is the 2-in-1 pen eyeliner. So it comes like this. You see the tip? I've never seen a tip like this and look at that line. 
So as you know, I don't like creating my eyeliner on camera when I'm filming and starting because I, ca I can't. So I'm going to do this off camera unfortunately, but I'm just going to create a hopefully, hopefully a good cat eye look eyeliner, but I don't know. We'll see. So I'll be right back with you guys. So this eyeliner actually kind of helps you to do a cat eye. I mean, I got that line because of this pen. I mean, because of the shape of this pen. I've never tried anything quite like it, but I really like it. It's just when I do my right eye, I get so nervous and I don't know. I think I, I really like how this eye came, like this eye came perfectly, but then I always screw up on this side. So it's not the eyeliner's pen fault. <laughs> it's my fault if it looks wonky, but I really like it. I think this has become my favorite <laughs> eyeliner pen that I've ever tried out. I mean, I'm not gonna say these things because I don't think that they're true. I say these things because I really believe so. Okay, well, I really like this. So now I'm going to actually go and put some mascara on and some lashes on and I'll be right back for some more products. Okay, so I'm back and I did my lashes and yeah. So I really like these two products, the eyeshadow palette and the liner eyeliner. So far, so good. So now we basically have three more products that I wanna show you. So basically there we, we have the Just For Fun highlighter, which is a, this one right here. And you remember when I told you to wait for the inner corner, it's coming. So I'm gonna use this for my inner corner and also um, for my um, cheekbone highlights. Just going to, I always get scared of these. Okay, so we're just gonna take the beauty blender. It's kind of like frosty. I hope you can see on the camera because I am definitely seeing it here. Okay, so we're just gonna put some on our noses because I like it and some over here on our lips, on our cupid bow. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just apply a little bit on my inner corner. So let's see how this is going to go down. I think I need my little finger for this. Let's use a brush this time. Haha, so. -ha, brush is so much better. I mean, you don't get much of like a boom in your face highlight, but it's pretty nice. And now the last part. You know what the last part is, it's lipstick. But this time, the Just For Fun collection actually has two lipstick shades, I know, right? So we have the shade 521, which is this bright pink one, and 522, I think. Yeah, which is this pink, I think it's like a shimmer shade, it's like a frosted shade. So what I'm gonna do is, for the sake of this video, I'm going to actually try both of them out. So you will see both of them. Let's try the 521 first. It's like this, the brightest pink I've ever seen. And I smelled it before. And it smells like that bubble gum that I like, strawberry bubble gum. So here we go, guys. Ooh, so pink. Oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, this is a little bit patchy. So you're gonna have to work with it, guys. Okay, so we're going to wait for it to dry because these do dry down. They're, they're creamy, they're a creamy application. And let me just remind you that all the products from Mina are cruelty-free and paraben-free. And I also have previous videos on Mina. I will leave a link to my previous videos on Mina down below and also a link to their blog post as well. So we're just going to keep it, give it a minute to dry and we'll be right. Okay, so it completely dried down and I kind of like, <laughs> I kind of really like the color. But I don't know if it's like too much with this makeup look. What do you guys think? Um, but I really love the color. This is shade 5 to 1. It's so, so pretty. But as you can see, it was patchy to apply. But as you can see, it dries down completely nice and patch-free. And yeah, you just have to be patient with it. And let's just see if the Kiss Proof Test is approved by Kezia. Okay, no. Maybe it hasn't dried down completely. <laughs> Whoopsies. Okay, so now we're gonna try out the other shade and have a 
wet wipe over here, which I have used throughout this video. And I'm gonna take this cute color off, I'm so sad. And now we're gonna try out shade number 522. So let's go ahead, this is like a, ooh, this is pretty. Now this goes with this look. I love this. So cooling on the lips when you're applying these. See, patchy, but I'm sure we'll make it work. Oh, this is a little bit wonky. The brush is getting stuck. So we're back. And as you can see, it completely dried, but I kind of prefer the pink. Even though I really love this shade. The shade is beautiful. It's just, I don't know, it's like a bit patchy. If you like look at it really close, it will be a bit patchy. But like from far away, I guess it doesn't. But it actually really goes well with this makeup look. So I hope you liked um, this tutorial. Basically, this is the finished look. So I use the Mina Just For Fun um, collection and these are all the products. You get an eyeshadow palette, a two-in-one eyeliner. You get these two lipsticks, which are gorgeous. I love that pink. That pink is gorgeous. And then you get also this um, frosted uh, highlight, which is as this one right here. So again, I would like to say thank you to Mina Malta and to Hudson Group Malta. I really enjoyed using these products. These products are definitely a thumbs up from me. I think my favorite by far is definitely the eyeliner pen because it's something that you could use every day and it's just, it's very helpful to create nice winged eyeline looks. But the rest, I guess they're, they come out at the perfect time because you know, there's these festivals going on. So you definitely can create some fun looks using these products from this collection. So yeah, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more then press subscribe and I hope you really like this video. Thanks again for supporting my channel and thanks for stopping by and for supporting me. <laughs> and also thank you if you leave a comment down below, I really appreciate it. I love reading your comments and replying to them. So I hope you all have a lovely day and I see you all in my next video which will be on Wednesday because I post videos every single Wednesday. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook because you know I post regularly on those as well. Oh, and I hope you like my new intro. It's cute, isn't it? I really like it. I don't know. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs>